Greetings! It's me, Firebee, and welcome back to Pokémon Platinum Enhanced. In the last bonus video I did, I uh, took a peek into Orberg Gate, grabbed all the things from there, and also figured out exactly how to get the Rotom Forms, and looked into the secret portion of the Wayward Cave, and now I'm here to do the actual portion of the Wayward Cave. Now, I can't say I know the layout incredibly well, but I do at least have an idea. And I also have Flash. So, and Repels. Now, I think I want to go to the northeast corner first. I'm not sure. But as far as I know, that's probably the way to go. No, no. There's no repels in there. The repels are in my bag. There we go. I can't go that way, so I must go up. Knowing me, I'll probably find all the trainers before I actually find who I'm looking for. Can't go that way, so I have to go this way and up. Probably. Let's see how horribly lost I can get myself. Ah, now I can go this way. And then down. Sure there's no hidden item there? How about there? No? Okay. Well, there's a hit there's a not very hidden item here, an escape rope. Thanks, game. Thanks for your confidence in my abilities. Alright, we'll go right from here. So I wanna go to the northeast corner. There goes the rappel. Lasts a little longer when I'm not riding on a bike. Do I have to go down here first? Is there anything over this way? There is, but it looks like I have to go down and around to get there. Hmm. Do I want to take these on both at a time? Yeah, I can handle them. Why not? What every good picnic needs is a cute setting, good food, and a fun battle. Huh, you lost it? Nah, it doesn't matter. Let's have a Pokemon battle instead of worrying about being lost in a cave that's completely dark. Where we're just apparently having a picnic. In the middle of a cave. I don't know. Sure. If that's how you want to go about it, sure. We'll absorb Buazel. And I suppose it doesn't really matter what I do to the fan bait. That's not going to do much. And any health that was lost is now regained. Pretty much. Poison? No, of course not. That'd be silly. Why Why would anything poison? I guess we'll toss some sludge at the view as well. It was trying to wash us off. How rude. I mean, Pudding's entire body is sludge. You can't just try to wash the sludge off. That doesn't work. There it goes, Fanby. Benedict is just going to be getting so many gains right now. So many levels. So many levels. Oh hey, a metronome! Now Benedict can do something, which is to say, make himself blow up. That, that's what metronome does, right? It makes you blow up? I'm pretty sure on that one. Almost 100% certain, even. More levels! And a Shinx! Oh, hmm. Okay, we'll use Cut. And Mud Bomb. 
That's pretty good just on its own. And you decided to bite a cactus. That seems like a really bad idea to start with. Like, who has the idea? I'm going to just bite into this cactus. There's a cactus in front of me. I'm just going to sink my teeth into it. Never mind all the spines and thorns and stuff. I'm just going to sink my teeth into this cactus. This is absolutely the best plan anybody has ever come up with. That wasn't any fun for me. Lost? There's nothing lost about this kid. I got separated from my friends. I've got my Pokémon with me, so I'm okay, but... Why have a picnic here? I don't know. There's no deep meaning to it. Okay, I get... Are you kidding me, game? Is this a joke? I took the wrong way. Maybe it should have gone up more. Maybe? No, I don't think that was an option, even. We'll spray another repel. Now there is no more up to go, as far as I can tell. There's down from here. There's trainers, I guess. If you're lost, aren't you? I'll guide you if you can beat me. Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a Pokemon trainer? I could make a joke about being lost and lost their marbles, but I don't think it'd be in the best taste. Although I suppose I've technically already made it with that. Whoops. These are pretty good pairing so far. Clearly, cactus pudding is for dessert. That could be bad. Not hugely bad, but kind of bad. Slightly bad, sort of. Perhaps. Kind of wish I had that Tag along, partner. That'd be awfully nice. We'll use a super potion on pudding here. And pudding's gonna drop another bud mud bomb. Another confusion that shouldn't do a huge amount. We'll absorb the rest of the Psyduck's health and drop more mud on the Flappy. Oh. That's just too bad now, isn't it? More mud is clearly needed. There we go, Flappy's finally dealt with. But oh, good. Experience. Levels. Gaining all of them. Sweet kiss? Uh, maybe. That's confusion. Veteran growl. There we go. Dealt with. More experience for Benedict. It's 
Still doesn't have great stats, though. You didn't really have to win. I'm not gonna guide you now. Okay, so we're both trainers. That's a start, right? Hope a rock didn't fall on their head. Alright, what do you have to say? Just wanted to have a picnic under the cycling road. I didn't think I'd get lost in a place like this. You didn't think you'd get lost in a cave. What do you think caves are for? I'm not lost, I tell you. I'm camping. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Hey, you revived. That could be... useful? I guess. Hmm. Alright. Now where do I go from here? Not into Pokemon battles, that's for sure. I'll admit it, I might be slightly lost. Can't go that way. Oh, that's the entrance again. Hmm. Alright. Let's backtrack from here. If I go north, this is where I smashed this rock. And I have to go this way. Because there's just not many point... Yeah, there's no point in going any other way. Uh, what's over here? Oh, there's another rock. Left or right? Well, I can't go right. So that means left or down. I guess I'll go down. That's another battle. Guess I'll go left and then down. You gotta be kidding me. I guess I'm going down then. To somewhere that isn't a dead end, at the very least. Alright. This is another dead end. What the fuck? Look, a trainer lost in Wayward Cave! Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms they gave me. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright. I didn't need to know that, but okay, guy. I should have healed pudding, I forgot to do that. It's too bad I haven't found the person in here yet. That'd be a great thing to have right now. Getting healed between battles, that'd be terrific. Alright, and pudding is going to rock smash this Stantler here. This is not going to get me anywhere quickly, I guess. Still going to keep doing it, though. Of course you have Detect at this level. Why Why wouldn't you have Detect at this level? You think Pudding cares about a little bit of sand. You'd be wrong. Nope. No double protecting on my watch. That doesn't work. I'm a little bit more worried about the confusion, really. Still hitting. What's that? Negative accuracy? No problem. Being confused? No problem. You seem to underestimate the amount of fucks that Pudding gives. Of course Nopal is paralyzed. Suppose it doesn't matter what move I use there. Pudding snaps out of it, uses it protected. Nopal is actually able to move this turn. But of course. Gasp doesn't actually try to protect themselves. 
And Nopal is paralyzed this turn. Of course Nopal is paralyzed this turn. Of course nobody got to actually use any moves on the turn that they could. They used attack and watch both of them be able to attack. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, okay. That was that was still a 50-50 chance. Come on. Let me actually hit you. That'd be terrific, thanks. Alright, well at least Nopal was able to hit. At least there's that. We'll drop more rocks, assuming we can hit them. Of course, Meditide is just like, I have to make sure that I hit things. Mm -hmm. That's not going to do a huge amount. But it will contribute. Benedict is getting more levels. And a Geodude. Oh man, how am I going to deal with a Geodude with a grass type and a pudding hair? Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? This is, this is the worst thing. I'm going to miss. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. That's about what I expected. Well, not the crit, I didn't expect that. Straight from the battle plan! You think you're getting better? I don't think I agree with you. I hear there's a Pokémon that has mushrooms growing on its back. Not around here, somewhere far away. I wonder if they taste any good. That's probably not a good thing to be eating! Me? No, I'm not lost. I live here! Ah, I see. Well, as for me, I think I may be lost. Just might be. Eh, they can handle that. Apparently, I've been going the wrong ways. Maybe I go north from here? And then east from there? I'll be honest, I have no clue how to get to where I'm trying to f go. And I don't have a map in front of me. That would have been a nice thing for me to have been prepared with, a map. Now, I've been here. And that's blocked off, which means that I need to somehow go all the way south from somewhere? I... I don't even know. Oh, hey. Have I been here? Is this the way I have to go? Hopefully it's the way I have to go. We'll respray our repels. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, that's the other side there. Let's go north. There's another rock to smash. Off a lot of these in this cave. Like, we get it. We need Rock Smash to be able to go through here. Oh, hey. There's a person here. There's not a second one, so I can't be a trainer. Hello. Who are you? I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon, and then I got lost. I'm kind of scared. Please, please take me to the exit. And without asking me, we decided to go with them. Hey, they're going to keep our Pokemon healthy. This seems like an excellent thing. What else do you have to say? I like helpful Pokemon moves like Growl and Minimize. Uh, are, are you... Are you actually Verlicify? Don't lie to me here. Those kinds of moves are my favorites. I, I think you are, actually. This game, it's so easy to get confused. I know, right? Do you know where we are? I have no idea. Did you get to be so good because you're always with your Pokemon? Probably. Yes, that has to be it. Mira will try like you. Okay, and that's it. Alright. You know, I'm gonna leave the repel off for a little bit. Mainly because I can get these, and these are excellent. Because they let me heal. You have a slow bro! What? What? 
come on! You have a level 26, Slowbro, and you needed help getting out of the cave. Well, okay, it does have water gun, but still. It's a level 26, Slowbro. I'm pretty sure Slowpoke doesn't even evolve at level 20 anything. Oh shit, it's going boom. I think I have enough health to survive that. And I am wrong. That's fine, because I'm getting healed. But, um... Benedict is gaining more levels. Alright, now everything should be healed. Yeah? Yes. Now, I want to get to all the trainers. However many of them I haven't already defeated yet. As I can. Let me spray a repel right quick. before finding the entrance, if possible. Speaking of, here's some here. This is a neat pre-battle theme. Not really what I would expect from this particular trainer sprite. You look like you might just have the Pokémon I've been looking for! In deep tunnels and caves, there's a couple of things you're sure to see. Zubat. Zubat and Ruin Maniacs. Oh, I see. That's a collect Pokemon collector. That explains it. You have a Jolteon. I suppose I shouldn't be hugely surprised, but still, that's a thing. Oh. That could be bad. Probably not going to be, though. Unless you have Sturdy. And I don't think you have Sturdy. Nope. Water Gun's not gonna do a huge amount to a Jolteon. A Sand True. Dealt with just about as easily. Helping Hand doesn't help if the other Pokémon faints. It doesn't help them very much. Like, it, it doesn't pull them back up when they're falling over. That'd actually be a neat thing for it to do. Have it act somewhat like a possible uh, Focus Sash or something. Might give it a little extra thing for doubles or something, I don't know. So, I mean, they're extending a helping hand. That's the entire point of the attack. Yeah, what, what's a helping hand for if not to help the partner back up? Although, maybe that's a little strong on top of whatever amount it boosts their attack by. I don't remember exactly what the number is. Because it's not a move I use very often. Oh, it crit. Oh, well. There we go. Dealt with. Nopal is now level 30. Benedict is probably level 17 now. Benedict wants to learn Yawn. Nah, I don't think I need Yawn. Nope. Just, just one level. You didn't have a single Pokemon I wanted. You're no collector! Your awesome power, it's mystifying. Oh, this is only the cactus that you've seen. I have other Pokémon, I just didn't show them. I've scoured every inch of this place. Most of it while I was lost. Anyway, if there's one thing I can say, this place can't be called Ruins. I'm very picky, so I want to collect every Pokémon without anyone's help. Good luck with that guy. I, I do have friends, though. No, seriously, I do! Uh-huh. Hey, there is an item here. Right here? A blue shard! I thought there had to be something hidden there. Alright, we'll go down this way. See if I can't find that one group of trainers again. I don't actually know where the entrance is compared to this. So... 
hopefully I don't get close enough to it for her to leave quite yet. Because this is probably the best way of training for the next gym, if I had to guess. Going through every single rappel. What is down this way? Have I been down this way? I have not. Hush now, lost little Pokemon, don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. Are you actually Team Rocket? Are you actually Team Rocket? Did you come to play too? Want to play battle with me? Sure, I guess. What? A Yen Mega? What the fuck is this shit? What? Pudding! You need to deal with this. If you can. Do you see that? That's a Yen Mega? Oh, that's slightly annoying. It's a... Of course it's a speed boost one. Let's drop some, drop some rocks on it. I'm not worried about 20 HP. Baton passing out into a Dratini. Hey, they have my starter. How dare they take it. And then forget to evolve it while they're at it. What's the point in keeping a Dratini past the point it evolves? It doesn't learn anything new. Well, not anything anytime soon, at least. Level 16. Yeah, Dratini's not going to like that very much. I suppose it doesn't matter which of my moves I use, really. So we'll just drop some rocks on it, since that's boosted by our item. And drop its speed a bit. And a Confusion ought to take it out from here. In fact, a Confusion could have probably taken it out from where it was. Benedict is gaining more levels. At this rate, it'll be able to help in the gym. In which I put help in massive quotes. Oh boy, more rocks! More rocks! That, that was pretty much nothing. Those things are giant, by the way. They're like a foot tall, at least? Like, could you imagine that? A bee flying towards you, that's a foot tall. And Vespaquin is, like, a hint under three feet tall? That's crazy. And I want to say that Beedrill is closer to... I think Beedrill is closer to four feet or something? That's just, that's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Who gave this bee the right to be so damn tall? Not me, that's for sure. Alright, you're dealt with. Who's crying now? You were just toying with me. Yeah, pretty much. I'm playing hide and seek here. I like some underground tag too. Speaking of crying, I'm positive I heard crying from deeper in the cave. Nah, it totally wasn't you. Nah, that'd be silly. Alright, we'll see what this item is. It is TM32 Double Team, for if I want to be like Mira, I guess. Actually, do you say anything about that? No, of course you don't. Alright, what are our levels like? Linguini and Starburst need some help, but this is not really a good place for them. Well, Linguini could do something here, I guess. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding while Mira is here 
for those guaranteed double battles. Uh, and then I will be back. Alright, I think I'm back. I spent a few minutes in sped up time doing just a little bit of grinding. I don't think my team needs it too, too much. Uh, I removed the EXP share from Benedict so that the experience would go more direct. I can raise Benedict on my own time. It's not important for the gym. Since Rotom doesn't have a name yet or a form, I just kind of left him out. Or it out, rather. So let's just take a quick peek at the team. Starburst is now at level 27. Hasn't learned anything new. Has some pretty good stats. Thief might be useful in the gym, depending on whether things have things. But it's a dark-type move, you know? Um... Let's see, Pudding, still holding the Hearthstone, level 29, still adamant, has some decent stats going on, hasn't learned anything new at all. The next time that Pudding actually learns something will be way in the future, considering uh, when when Grimer actually learns things. Uh, let's see, Nopal, still not holding anything, still timid. He has some halfway decent stats. Has faint attack to do stuff in the gym. Should be alright. Benedict. Still has nothing useful. Still level 17. Linguini. Wait, wait, what? Holy shit, I got Pokerus! Holy shit! What? What? When, when did that happen? When the fuck did that happen? It had to have happened in the cave, because it didn't happen the last time I was... Holy shit! Because the last time I healed, it didn't tell me anything about that. Okay, so Linguini is now getting double EVs on things. I believe that's how that generally works. Hasn't learned anything new. Still has pretty good stats. Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing that exists. Obviously, Rotom is no different from when we caught it. Okay, so, I think I'm done freaking out now. Let's go see if we can't find the entrance of the cave for Mira. Let me spray a repel right quick. And go see if I can't find the entrance. It has to be, well, it can't be down there. It must be up and around. Let's see if I can't bumble my way out of this one. That's how I find my way into things. Let's see if I can use it to find my way out of things. Probably. Actually, wait, no. Is that the entrance right there? I was about to spray a repel like ten steps from the entrance. Wow. There it is. Oh, there's the exit! I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Fire, bye bye, thank you. G leaves, and we leave. And I don't want to see the inside of another cave for quite a while. I think I'm a fair bit annoyed with caves at this point. But, um... Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing that happened. It occurred. And I think I'm going to probably end out here. Well, I may as well run back to, uh... Run back and make sure everything is completely healed and settled. So I don't have to do backtracking in the next actual part. Just to be sure. Of all the things, I never expected to actually get Pokerus in a playthrough. Oh right, there's a cave up here, isn't there? At least this one's just straight through. We'll spray a repel to get through it. This is the quicker way through this cave than the one I took earlier. It's just a bunch of rock smash all the way through. Although I'm not exactly convinced that it's that many fewer steps. Like, it seems shorter, but is the time it takes to smash the rocks actually less time than it would take to just walk the other way? I don't know. That might be a decent thing to time at some point. Not now, obviously. I always forget how far things are away from other things. 
Of course. Alright, and we will get ourselves settled at the Poké Center. There's still more stuff I could explore in this town, but I'll probably do that after the gym, I suppose. I can't think of too many things that would help me out beforehand. Alright. Hello! Yeah, I would like to heal, if you don't mind. Some of your Pokémon are infected with the Pokerus! Thanks to far-reaching research, much is known about the Pokerus. Well, the Pokémon have a 1 in 21,845 chance. 1 in 21,845. That's the chance for a wild Pokémon to be infected. So you most prob probably got it from other trainers, but I didn't. With Pokemon, with Pokerus, your Pokemon gains double the, ex you know, the EVs it would otherwise receive. It takes about two days to wear off in this time. It's able to spread. The timer stops when being put into a box. After wearing off, the effect is still there, but it doesn't spread. Enjoy your virus. <laughs> okay, thank you. I will make sure to do that. I will absolutely make sure to do that. Okay, so with that done. I think that's all the bonus videos that I can do for now, so next time, we're going to take that gym and we're going to crush it, hopefully. Hopefully we'll crush the gym. So make sure that you come back and check that out, and until then, farewell!